Few rocket engines in history have changed the course of spaceflight. Fewer still have done it more than once. When SpaceX introduced the original Raptor engine, it wasn't just building a rocket motor. It was laying the groundwork for a new kind of launch architecture. A fully reusable, methane-powered, full-flow staged combustion engine hadn't been flown before, let alone mass-produced. With each version, Raptor 1, then Raptor 2, SpaceX iterated fast, cut costs, boosted performance, and simplified its design. But now, with Raptor 3, the game has changed completely. SpaceX didn't just improve the engine, it rebuilt it from the ground up. The result is a propulsion system operating near the physical limits of chemical rocketry. Raptor 3 isn't just an engine, it's the foundation for the next era of low-cost access to space, Mars colonization, and point-to-point -point travel on Earth. Given how central the Raptor engine is to Starship's success, What's unfolding now with Raptor 3 may be one of the most important developments in the space industry today. In this video, we're going to dive into how SpaceX is pushing the boundaries of rocket propulsion, and why Raptor 3 is blowing the minds of engineers across the aerospace world. Let's start with the fundamentals. Raptor 3 builds on two generations of rapid innovation. Raptor 1 was a prototype a testbed that powered early Starship flights like SN5 to SN11. It produced around 185 metric tons of thrust, but was heavy, complex, and not designed for mass production. Raptor 2 arrived in 2022, pushing thrust to 230 tons, simplifying the design, and dramatically reducing cost. Then came Raptor 3. It delivers 280 metric tons of sea level thrust with a chamber pressure of 350 bar, the highest ever achieved in an operational rocket engine. For comparison, Blue Origin's BE 4 operates around 137 bar. The RD 180, one of the most powerful Russian engines, runs at about 260 bar. Raptor 3's chamber pressure is not just a record, it's a symbol of engineering confidence. And it's not just more powerful. Raptor 3 is lighter, smaller, and cleaner in appearance. The dry mass is around 1,525 kilograms, roughly 36% lighter than the original Raptor. The thrust-to-weight ratio has nearly doubled. No large engine in history has achieved that combination of power and efficiency. But how did SpaceX do it? The answer lies in redesigning nearly every part of the engine. Raptor 3 internalizes much of its plumbing, removing external pipes, wires, and supports. It uses regenerative cooling channels built into the engine case, which double as flow circuits for fuel and oxidizer. SpaceX eliminated the separate heat shield found on earlier Raptors by designing components that can survive re-entry conditions without added protection. Another major shift. The high-pressure side of the engine has no flanges or seals. Instead, it uses welded monolithic sections to reduce failure points. This is crucial for surviving extreme combustion environments without leaks. The result is an engine that's physically cleaner, structurally more robust, and easier to assemble. One of the most important enablers of these changes is 3D printing. SpaceX has developed in-house additive manufacturing techniques that produce entire engine sections, injector plates, manifolds, and even parts of the combustion chamber as single printed pieces. The design was optimized from the start using DFAM, or Design for Additive Manufacturing. This allows for complex internal geometries that traditional casting or machining can't achieve. Materials matter too. SpaceX uses proprietary superalloys, including oxygen-resistant SX500 for turbopump components and copper-based materials for chamber liners. But the geometry, made possible through 3D printing, is what makes Raptor 3 lighter and stronger than any predecessor. And that's just the hardware. In testing, Raptor 3 has already delivered. It reached 350 bar chamber pressure during a hot fire in May 2023. That firing produced 269 tons of thrust. Elon Musk confirmed that if 33 Raptor 3s were installed on a super heavy booster, total liftoff thrust would approach 8,900 tons, nearly 20 million pounds of force. 
In future variants, like Raptor 3.X, thrust could climb past 300 tons, and this power doesn't come at the expense of efficiency. Raptor 3 holds a specific impulse of approximately 327 seconds at sea level and 350 seconds in vacuum, matching or exceeding its predecessors. The vacuum variant of Raptor 3 may reach 380 seconds, rivaling hydrogen engines like NASA's RS-25 but at far greater thrust levels. This combination, high thrust, high ISP, and compact packaging, gives Raptor 3 the highest thrust density of any engine ever built. That means more power in a smaller area, allowing SpaceX to fit more engines into the Starship design without increasing its diameter. Throttling and restartability have also improved. Raptor 3 can throttle down to around 40% of its rated thrust, enabling precision maneuvers like soft lunar landings or in-space adjustments. Restart testing has shown consistent results, including multiple power cycles in a single 30-second test. And while Raptor 3 hadn't yet flown on a full Starship at the time of its unveiling, it passed extensive static fire tests, each pushing the engine closer to operational readiness for full orbital missions. This new level of performance enables mission types that were previously out of reach. First, heavier payloads. A super-heavy booster with Raptor 3 engines gains 29% more total thrust than one with Raptor 2. That means more margin for cargo to orbit, deeper space missions or lunar deliveries with fewer in-orbit refuelings. Second, lunar and Martian landings. Raptor 3's deep throttle ability allows for precise terminal descent. Its increased thrust gives added delta V margin, allowing Starship to carry more cargo or return more material from the Moon or Mars. Third, point to point transport on Earth. SpaceX's vision of suborbital flights between global cities requires engines that can throttle, reignite, and survive re entry without lengthy refurbishment. Raptor 3 was designed with this use case in mind. Fourth, hot staging. This advanced launch technique, firing the upper stage engines before the booster detaches, puts added stress on both vehicles. Raptor 3's streamlined design and resistance to external heat damage make it ideal for this maneuver. And there's a fifth factor often overlooked, manufacturing. SpaceX aims to mass produce up to 1,000 Raptor engines per year. This scale is unheard of. The RS-25 engines used on the Space Launch System are produced at fewer than four per year. Even Rocket Lab's smaller engines don't come close to this volume. Cost is a key metric. The first Raptor prototypes cost tens of millions. Raptor 2 dropped that dramatically. Raptor 3 is expected to cost under $250,000 per unit, with a long-term goal of just $100,000 to $150,000. That's one or two orders of magnitude cheaper than most competitor engines. In fact, 33 Raptor 3s on a super-heavy booster may cost less than a single BE-4 from Blue Origin. How is this possible? Through automation, additive manufacturing, and part count reduction. Every aspect of Raptor 3 was designed for rapid production, easy inspection, and fast replacement. Components are modular, inspections can be done robotically, and if an engine needs replacing, it can be swapped out quickly, just like an aircraft engine. This also transforms how reusable Starship can be. Without a separate heat shield and with simplified plumbing, post-flight inspections are shorter. Maintenance is easier. Flight cadence can increase. SpaceX aims for 24-hour turnaround times, something that once seemed impossible for orbital rockets. The combination of rapid manufacturing, extreme performance, and low cost changes the economics of spaceflight. A single Starship launch with Raptor 3s may have a propulsion cost of just a few hundred thousand dollars. That's a fraction of the cost of traditional expendable rockets, and it's one of the reasons SpaceX can aim for per-flight costs in the low millions, or even less. In effect, Raptor 3 turns engines into a commodity. They're no longer the fragile, expensive jewels of a rocket. They're robust, affordable, and built in bulk. This enables SpaceX to not just fly frequently, but to experiment, iterate, and scale its operations at a level the space industry has never seen before, and the impact is already being felt. As of late 2024, Raptor 3 was entering production. 
The design is finalized, the performance benchmarks are real, and the factory is ramping up output. When these engines begin flying on full-scale starships, we will see a new phase in orbital launch capabilities. Ultimately, Raptor 3 is not just a better engine. It's a key enabler of SpaceX's most ambitious goals, whether that's delivering thousands of tons to orbit, building a lunar base, colonizing Mars, or connecting cities across Earth with hypersonic flights. With this engine, SpaceX is redefining what rockets are capable of. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.